Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here with your Week 13 picks. Something completely different. Uh, today, going to be a little lazy. I don't have a whiteboard, a white magnet board with magnets, and I'm not using the helmets. So, we're just going to go down the picks, and I will write them across the screen. And uh, that's how it's going to be this week. Hopefully next week we're back to the helmets, but I've been busy lately and I'm recording this after work. And I'm a little frustrated that I missed the ravens Steeler game because, I mean, the NFL keeps moving that game. So, I mean, I was going to try to wait for it, but I decided not to. But first it was supposed to be on Thanksgiving, then it was supposed to be on Sunday, then it was supposed to be on Tuesday. Now they're moving it to Wednesday. So I'm just not doing the Ravens-Steelers game. So I did pick the Steelers to win the game, but I'm not even going to count it. Uh, no matter when it's played, if it's played on the 4th and never, I don't know. I'm just not going to count that game. So that having been said, last week I was 9-6. 9-6. and 9-6. and six. And um, on the year, that puts me at 103 and 72, which is 58.9% of my games correct. And if you recall last week, I, on the year, was at 58.8% of my picks correct. So I moved up one stinking percentage point by going 9 and 6. So I'm guessing I really have to bust out. I mean, that's, that's pretty much what's got to happen. So, uh, and hopefully this will be the week to really bust out. I don't know. Um, and this week, all games are on Sunday. There is no Thursday game because, you know, the NFL jockeying the schedule all over with, uh, you know, the virus going around. So, um, and I'm, and I'm you're probably noticing I'm putting my head at an angle. That's because I got this light behind my, uh, behind my camera my camera phone and uh, you know you don't want to see the ring of the light in my glasses so um, so I'm gonna keep my head at this angle so there's a whole bunch of you know disclaimers there but anyway we're gonna get into the week 13 picks now on Sunday the first game we're gonna look at is the Saints at the Falcons now I don't think you need to be a real genius to figure this one out I think the Saints I think they got this. Um, they were uh, now assuming that they don't come down with the virus because they were partying like it was 1999 after they beat the uh, Broncos last week. But um, we'll see. But anyway, even you know, even the Saints uh, at you know bedridden probably could beat the Falcons. But. We're going to go with the Saints in that game. I am confident we're going with the Saints, even though this is in Atlanta. The next game is the Browns at the Titans. And in that one, I'm, I'm picking the Titans. I mean, I'm just not even going to, you know, I'm not going with the Browns here. The Browns are showing, um, they're showing a lot of spunk. They might actually make the playoffs, but I still don't trust uh, Baker Mayfield. I still don't think he's... You know, like they say, he's he hasn't proven himself in the big games. The Browns are a team that are winning the games they should win and losing the games they should lose. And they need to, if they're going to take that next step, they need to win some games that they should lose. This is one of those games. They should lose to the Titans based on everything we know. But if they beat them, then, you know, maybe they're showing, you know, a couple steps forward. We'll see. But for right now, I'm going to take the Titans and Derrick Henry. Um, the next one is the Lions at the Bears. I'm going with the Lions. I got to go with the Lions. I mean, the Bears don't know what they're doing. I, I don't think Matt Nagy knows what he's doing. I think he was just like an accidental winning coach in, we, in season one with the Bears. But, um... I don't know what's going on. Their offense is terrible, and last week their defense wasn't very good either against Green Bay. So we're going to go with the Lions. The Lions nearly beat them the first time they played them in week one. 
they would have beaten them if they hadn't allowed the Bears to have a miraculous comeback. This time, I don't think there's going to be a miraculous comeback. I think the Lions are just going to beat them. The next one we got is the Bengals at the Dolphins. And again, this is a Bengals without Joe Burrow. It's a, it's a shame that he had to get injured and miss the rest of the year. Hopefully that's not an injury that's going to affect the rest of his career adversely. But um, you hate to see that. And so now without Joe Burrow, the Bengals are just a shell of a team. I'm going with the Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins have two capable quarterbacks. Tua has shown himself to be um, competent as, you know, a new quarterback just coming into the league. You know, he can hold his own. And sometimes he gets in a little over his head, and then when that happens, you just put in Fitz Magic. So they got two competent quarterbacks uh, that can play off each other. Um, and play to each other's strengths when they when the Dolphins need it, as they need it. So I think the Dolphins win that game. Got the Jags at the Vikings. I'm going to go with the Vikings here. The Vikings are a team that I just, I hate picking them to win. I hate it. Well, or to lose. Because I just never know what Vikings are going to show up. Last week, they barely won. They barely hung on and won. They kicked a field goal to go ahead by one point. And then um, the team they were playing, I don't remember who it was. But the, uh, the team they were playing got to like the 36-yard line. They tried a very long field goal, and it was wide left. And if that had not happened, they would have lost. So, um, you know, it's touch and go picking the Vikings, but I'm going to do it this week against the Jags. Got the Colts at the Texans. I'm going to go with the Colts there. They got a great defense, or supposedly they have a great defense, but some weeks you watch them play and you wonder where that great defense is. Uh, but the Texans, they've got one good player. Well, all right. Well, they got one good player on offense and they got one good player on defense. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Colts. I think the Colts as a team are a better team and should win the game. Raiders at the Jets. Now this is my lock of the week, and if you know, if you've been watching the channel, you know that most weeks when the Jets play, the Jets game is my lock of the week. And again, this is no exception this week. I'm going to take the Raiders over the Jets easily. I mean, it should happen easily. I, the, the Raiders could probably play that quarterback that the Broncos had last week and still beat the Jets. So, yeah, that's how we're going to do that. The Giants at the Seahawks. I'm going to pick the Seahawks, even though the Seahawks have shown, I mean, there's real chinks in the armor with the Seahawks. They have a terrible defense. And, um, I mean, they didn't exactly beat up on the Eagles, you know. They beat them by a touchdown. So, I, yeah, I don't know what's going on in Seattle, but I'm thinking they can probably handle the Giants. Although the Giants are playing for first place in their division, just like the other three teams in the NFC least. But we'll see. Rams at the Cardinals. I'm going to take the Cardinals here. The Cardinals, again, they're a Jekyll and Hyde team sometimes, you know. I just, I don't know. But, and, and the Rams, the Rams too. I mean the Rams. I don't. I can't figure the Rams out. You know, I feel like when I talk to the Rams, I'm like Glenda the Good Witch of the North. Are you a good team or a bad team? We don't know because it depends on the week with the Rams. So and uh, the Cardinals are a little more consistent than that. So I'm going to take the Cardinals in that game. Patriots at the Chargers. I'm going with the Chargers. Even though you don't really want to sell Bill, Bill Belichick short in figuring out a way to beat a team uh, like the Chargers. But I think that the, uh, the Chargers are the better team and Herbert is, is a, uh, he's shown himself to be very good too. Um, the rookie quarterback crop this year has been spectacular. And, uh, and Herbert's no, no uh, exception to that rule. So... I'm going to go with the Chargers. Um, Eagles at the Packers. 
yeah, you're going to go with the Packers. I mean, the Eagles, are they're a mess. They are absolutely a hot mess. Um, they did now, like I said, they came within a touchdown against Seattle, but you, you got to ask, have they figured things out or have they not? And until I see that they have, I'm going to assume they haven't. So we're going to, we're going to stick with the, and the Packers just steamrollered the Bears last week. Steamrollered them on Sunday night. So I'll go with them. Broncos at the Chiefs, yeah. If I had a second lock of the week, this would be the second lock of the week. We're going to take the Chiefs in this game. Now, Monday, there's going to be, because of the NFL doing their, you know, musical days and musical games, uh, there's going to be two games on Monday night, and then there's going to be one on Tuesday. The first game on Monday night will be the Washington Football Club at the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I'm feeling real confident about saying Pittsburgh's going to win that one. I would kind of like, you know, you see I got the, I mean, really it's not a Washington football jersey. But it looks like one. It's really Boston College Doug Flutie jersey. But um, as much as I would like to see Washington win that division, and I really would, it would be great. Um, since I live in the Washington area. That would be awesome to see. But I don't think they're going to beat Pittsburgh. I mean, Pittsburgh's coming in 10-0. and 0. I mean, You're not going to beat Pittsburgh. And if you do beat Pittsburgh, somebody needs to be fired in Pittsburgh. Um, then you got the Bills at the 49ers. I'm going to go with the Bills in that one. Although the 49ers have shown that they're playing good football. And they seem to be playing for something. I don't know what the something is, but they they seem like they're a team on a mission. Um, but I still don't see them beating the Bills. If the Bills are even, you know, I don't know, 80%. So I'm going to go with the Bills in that one. And then the Tuesday night game is the Cowboys at the Ravens. Now, uh, I'm going to go with the Ravens here, even if their starting quarterback um, isn't back. Jackson, is it Jackson? I forget. His name. I'm terrible with names. But I know that the backup is RG3. And even if RG3 is playing, I think he'll beat the Cowboys. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to go with the Ravens in that one. So there are my picks. How do you like them? Um, Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. What are your picks for this week? I always like to see what everybody is, is picking and how they uh, how they differ with mine. Um, last week, like you know, last week I was nine and six, so a slight bounce back, but not quite as good as I would have liked. But we will see this week. Maybe I can pull another. Th uh, I don't even know how many games this is, but. That one week that I was 13 and 3, I'm looking for something on that, on a par with that again this time. And maybe we can do it. You never know. So that is going to be it for right now for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.